Imagine a computer so powerful that it could solve problems in seconds that would take today's fastest supercomputers millions of years to crack. A machine that could unlock the secrets of the universe, revolutionize medicine, and redefine global power structures. Welcome to the fascinating world of quantum computing. Hello everyone, today we're embarking on an incredible journey into the realm of quantum computing, a field that's not just pushing boundaries but completely redefining them. But what exactly is quantum computing, and how does it differ from the artificial intelligence we're becoming so familiar with? Let's dive in and explore this quantum quest together. First things first, quantum computing and artificial intelligence are often mentioned in the same breath, but they're fundamentally different. Artificial intelligence, AI, is like the brain, software that can learn, adapt, and make decisions. It runs on classical computers, using algorithms to process data and think. Quantum computing, on the other hand, is about the hardware, a new type of computer that leverages the strange and wonderful laws of quantum mechanics to process information in ways that classical computers can't even begin to replicate. Now imagine combining the learning capabilities of AI with the immense processing power of quantum computers. It's like teaching a super-intelligent being to think at hyperspeed. The possibilities are endless. Let's break down one of the core concepts of quantum computing, the qubit. Think of a classical bit as a simple light switch. It's either off zero or on one. Now meet Quincy the qubit, our quantum superhero. Quincy isn't limited to just off or on. Thanks to the magic of quantum mechanics, he can be in both states at the same time. This is called superposition. Imagine you're flipping a coin. While it's spinning in the air, it's both heads and tails until it lands. That's superposition in action. But it gets even more intriguing. Quincy's state can become linked with another qubit, no matter how far apart they are, a phenomenon known as entanglement. It's like having two dice that always show the same number, even when rolled miles apart. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance, and it's one of the most mysterious aspects of quantum physics. To understand superposition better, let's revisit the famous thought experiment known as Schrodinger's cat. Imagine a cat in a sealed box with a device that has a 50 50th chance of releasing poison. Until we open the box, we don't know if the cat is alive or dead. In quantum terms, the cat is both alive and dead simultaneously, existing in a superposition of states. Similarly, a qubit exists in multiple states at once until we measure it. This allows quantum computers to process a vast number of possibilities all at the same time, making them incredibly powerful for certain types of calculations. The potential of quantum computing has sparked a global race akin to the space race of the 20th century. China has made significant strides in quantum research. In 2020, Chinese scientists achieved quantum supremacy with their Zhujiang computer, performing calculations that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years. The United States, European Union and other nations are also investing heavily, pouring billions into research and development. Tech giants like IBM, Google, and Microsoft are competing alongside startups to build the first fully functional large-scale quantum computer. This race isn't just about technological prestige, it's about securing economic and strategic advantages that could redefine global power structures. Quantum computing isn't just a technological marvel, it's a disruptive force that will impact multiple industries. In financial markets and trading, quantum computers could process complex financial models and risk assessments in real time, optimizing trading strategies and portfolio management. They could solve problems like the Monte Carlo simulations and optimize arbitrage opportunities at unprecedented speeds. In medicine and drug discovery, simulating molecular structures and interactions at a quantum level could accelerate drug discovery, leading to cures for diseases that are currently untreatable. Personalized medicine could become a reality, with treatments tailored to individual genetic profiles. In climate modeling and environmental science, more accurate models could improve our understanding of climate change, leading to better strategies for mitigation and adaptation. With the rise of quantum computing, our current data encryption methods could become obsolete. Quantum computers could factor large prime numbers easily, breaking the RSA encryption that secures much of today's data. But there's a flip side. Quantum cryptography. Using photons and the principles of quantum mechanics, we can create quantum key distribution QKD, systems. In QKD, any attempt to eavesdrop on a quantum communication changes its state, alerting the parties to the intrusion. 
This means we could achieve theoretically unbreakable encryption, ushering in a new era of data security, if we can implement it widely before quantum computers become capable of cracking existing systems. Quantum computing could also unlock answers to some of the universe's greatest mysteries. Simulating the extreme environments of black holes could help us understand gravity at quantum scales. This might lead to a unifying theory of quantum gravity, bridging the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity. While speculative, quantum simulations could explore the feasibility of concepts like warp drives and wormholes, potentially revolutionizing space travel. Modeling the conditions of the early universe could provide insights into the Big Bang and the fundamental forces of nature. Despite the incredible potential, quantum computing faces significant challenges. Qubits are extremely sensitive to their environment. Tiny disturbances can cause them to lose their quantum state, a problem known as decoherence. Maintaining qubits in a coherent state requires extremely low temperatures and isolation from all forms of interference. Unlike classical bits, qubits can't be copied due to the no cloning theorem. Developing quantum error correction codes is essential but highly complex. Building a quantum computer with enough qubits to tackle practical problems is a massive engineering challenge. As the number of qubits increases, so does the difficulty in controlling and maintaining them. The race to harness quantum computing is more than a scientific pursuit. It's a journey that could redefine our understanding of reality and reshape our world. From revolutionizing industries and cracking the toughest scientific challenges to redefining global power structures, quantum computing holds promises and perils in equal measure. As we stand on the cusp of this quantum era, it's up to us, as innovators, policymakers, and global citizens, to navigate these uncharted waters thoughtfully and ethically. Thank you for joining me on this extraordinary expedition into the quantum realm. If you found this exploration enlightening, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep dives into the frontiers of science and technology. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders that await us.